Hello ladies, so today I want to touch upon a subject that I know a lot of people are going to resonate with, it's been a big part of my story, it's been a big thing for a lot of the clients that I've worked with, and that is the fear, specifically the fear of failure. So the fear is the thing that holds a lot of women back from reaching their fullest potential, from going in on their dreams, and from manifesting the life and the business that they want to create. So how do we actually manage the fear? How do we handle fear so that it doesn't keep us stuck, so that it doesn't derail us? And I think the first thing to understand is that fear is not this bad negative thing. Often we build fear up to be this really awful thing. The fact that it exists is actually a blessing because when we're scared about something, when something is outside of our comfort zone, but we take action towards that thing regardless, we are actually allowing ourselves this huge opportunity for personal growth. So I know that when I have been scared about certain things, but I've done it anyway, I've really developed as a woman. I've found that it's really allowed me to step into my power. So fear is not something that happens to you. Fear is there, it exists you. It is there to serve you. It is there to help you grow. I think it's also important to realize that especially this will apply to anybody who's very new to the business world right now because this is something I definitely um, struggled with. When you're starting out and you see all of these amazing women doing these incredible things and achieving all of these amazing things as a business owner, we sometimes put them up on a pedestal. We look at them and think, oh, well, how can they be so confident, so self-assured? How can they be so fearless? And then we assume that in order for us to create the same, success, same kind of success, we too have to be fearless. And it isn't about eradicating the fear. The fear is always going to exist. So it's not about getting rid of it. It's not about being fearless. It's just allowing your dreams to be bigger than your fears, okay? So it's allowing yourself to act in spite of your fears, and we do this by allowing our dreams to be bigger than our fears. So all of those amazing, successful entrepreneurs that you see online, it's not that they don't have the fears, but they are so committed to their dreams and to their vision that they don't allow those fears to hold them back. And how do we become more committed to our dreams than we are to our fears? A big thing that helped me was to intensify my desire for what it was that I wanted. So whenever it's a goal that I've got in mind, in order to intensify that desire for having that goal, I allow myself to experience it in some capacity right now. So let me give you an example of this because this is a really um, cool trick that anybody can try. So let's say your desire is let's say you're trying to manifest a new car, right? Like, so you're doing things within your business and you're starting a business and there's lots of things that you want, but one thing in particular is you really would love one day to have that new car. In order to intensify the desire for that dream, go out and road test what having that car would look like. So actually physically go out and road test that car. So basically you're road testing your dream life. So it might be, you know, road testing the car. It might be going and looking at houses, the dream house, going and viewing them as if you were actually going out to buy them. It might be planning a vacation as if, you know, you're about to embark on this incredible luxury five-star holiday. What can you do right now to road test that dream life? And what you will find is that will intensify your desires and you'll find it far easier to move in spite of those fears because your desire for what you want is just so powerful. Now, I think the final thing is to ask yourself, what is the worst case scenario here? If I take action, what, a, what is my worst possible outcome? Because often, as I said, we build fear up. We build up these events in our head to be far bigger than what they ever need to be. And then when we get clear on what that worst case scenario looks like, we realize, well, perhaps actually that wouldn't be as bad as what I'm initially thinking it would be. There's ways in which that I could deal with that worst case scenario and still survive it, right? And then I think it's also taking a step back and realizing that the things that we're most afraid of, the likelihood of them actually happening are normally very, very slim, right? We focus all of our energy on what if this doesn't work out? What if I fail? When actually the chances of that happening is probably 
a lot less than what you imagine it would be. And here's the thing, if you continuously focus on what if I fail? What if that doesn't work out? That's where all of your energy is going. You're much more likely to create that. So rather than asking yourself, well, what if this doesn't work? Allow yourself to consider for the moment, what if it does? Start to bring to your imagination thoughts of everything working out in your favor because the more you start believing and thinking and committing your energy to things working out, the more you're likely to manifest that in your physical world. Okay, so we manifest wherever we put our focus on. So manifest on what you want, not on what you don't want. So I hope that resonated with you today. I hope that gave you a little bit of food for thought, but I'd love to know, is there something that you struggle with? Do you have your own ways of dealing with the fear? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Also give me a like button if you connected with this video in some way. And yeah, I look forward to connecting with you again soon. All right, thanks ladies, bye.